Hello everyone and welcome back to the city of Thinkafin. My name is Ben Pope and this is City Skylines, the game. Look at that. We even have a tall building creating our skyline. Of course, we are a European city. There's an airplane flying by. It's great. There's a bunch of trains. Right now we don't have a... Tr well, those two trains just went through each other. I missed it. But we have a lot of traffic on the motorway, on the freeway here. And usually there's a bunch of traffic for the trains, just because it's possible, apparently, to have multiple trains there and stuck. Look at those two might collide. Oh, they almost did, but didn't. Those two might collide. He's actually going to stop and then go. But then one comes behind, has to stop, another one behind. So it creates a slowdown of trains, if you have seen train traffic before. Last episode, guys, we created this park area. We called it Park Central. And I think it's great. I think we got a lot in there. We even made some paths of our own. Um, I wanted those paths to be the concrete and not the dirt. To kind of just have something different in the center. Um, just because not everybody wants to have dirty shoes while walking through the park. You know, muddy and so on. And this area is growing, and in fact, we are waiting to reach 100,000 population. Uh, and that's gonna be part of the goal today. I also went ahead and placed in some zoning over here. Because part of this was not zoned. Which should help with the population growth. Now we do have some complaints about not having enough uh, goods to sell and things like that. But you know what? I zone this whole bit for industrial and uh, it hasn't developed yet so I'm guessing that there's still room for the industry to grow it just hasn't maybe I should put a train station over here then um, it might help our industry in that sector this industry has a train station and it's just busy um, of course, all those donut trucks and hot dog trucks and whatever else they are. Um, they're just piling up to go and deliver the goods. There's, some, there's an oil tanker. I think uh, these guys need workers. I don't know. I mean, I have plenty of zoned areas for, for workers to come in right there. I can even go ahead and put in more. Uh, I'm guessing that we're going to want some more commercial on the edges of this. And um, yeah, I don't know about the inside here. I could, I could do that. I could do houses there. Oh, no, I shouldn't do houses. I could put in parks. Let's go find out. Let's go find that park. It's a nice, nice mod that somebody made. Probably one of the more useful ones. The um, I forget what the mod is called, but I think it's just big parks around. Euro natural round park something. You can search for that. And they fit inside. You just have to put them next to the edge on on one of the edges to make sure they get the trash picked up or else uh, this is too big so I have to put this in and that's gonna make it so this area gets even more land value if you believe if you can look at land value here there should be plenty of it apparently that doesn't make much land value I don't know why um, but it really should this says land value as you can tell, uh, there's even land value. Well, not that much there, but I thought there were, would be plenty of land value in our downtown area. Um, shops and offices kind of ruined that a little bit. Okay, so, ooh, look at that. 100,000 population. How do I click, click, click? That doesn't seem to do anything. I want to click here. 
bigger numbers. No. Sorry. <laughs> so we have our 100,000 population. Let's keep going and um, improve stuff. Uh, let me check. Power, water. I know I checked all of this earlier. Uh, landfill usage. It's fine because we have incinerators. And recycle areas. I could do a couple more incinerators maybe over here. Let's do one more. And let's do one more over here if I could fit another one. And the truth is, is that I could fit it. It's just going to demolish something. I don't really want it to demolish anything. Uh, oh well, right? Let's put, let's put a couple over here. Uh, two of them. Move it slightly. Move it slightly. Right. Uh, okay, so we have over 100,000 population. We do have this harbor town area we can fill out. Uh, we also have a bit of land on this side. Uh, as you can tell, quite a lot we could do. Uh, and we're going to keep going. We're going to just try to make fun little, you know, areas for, for people to uh, move in and live in and so on. I think our American suburbs... It's looking pretty good, although it was on a hill, so it's just not looking as great as we wanted to. Um, the houses are nice, right? You see the backyards there, all pretty. I didn't put anything on the main road because that's the main road. You don't really want to have houses right off of the main road. Uh, this is always going to have traffic. That's it was part of the plan. Initially, I, I was like, evil plan, I'm going to put a bunch of buses to go through that uh, route and, you know, ruin everybody's lives. And that's kind of what happened. Yeah, so forever there will be just way too many buses going through this portal. Oh, it's just not even a portal, it's just like a checkpoint. It's not a checkpoint, it's like a, hey, you're entering this tourist area, be cool. And, um, you know the home and stuff store right at the edge of it uh, it's a good eye catcher right there if people just come in and go oh, yeah, I want to go shop there look at that it's amazing and um, all those buses are like uh, you can't go in front of me I, I don't know what I'm doing anymore all right so let's uh, look at what other areas are like um, we looked at this we are enjoying the Stockholm row houses on this side uh, there's a couple of different types here. Again, thanks to awesome mods, they do mostly look the same. Uh, there's some really cooler ones here. But those are well, those will all update eventually. Uh, these shops are from the UK theme, which we have a UK theme area over here. We just didn't have. Um, any Stockholm themed shops. So those are terraced housing. UK style. And there's more UK style house houses. Since I was going through that, I'll show you guys. Over here. Uh, it's detached and semi detached houses. Uh, this could be this could fit on the row house type of situation as well. So yeah, these guys have awesome views. That's probably one of the more more expensive houses in the city, right here. It's a view of the bay, with just some parks next to him. He doesn't even have. I mean, the world ends past this little man-made park. So, what more? What more do you want? What more do you want? Okay, let's build some stuff. Uh, speed up things a little bit. It looks like we could use more industry. Let's see what this is like. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Pretty sure I don't want any more farms. 
maybe I could just do regular industry over here. So let's put that in, see if that helps us make more money or, you know, go our demands for population and, and such. Uh, we're gonna pause this a bit because it's gonna mess up our power. I'm gonna drive that power line across this way anyway. Okay. Uh, let's see what now. Yep, remove the old one. Okay. We can play, we can hit play. And we can get the road going. That looks about right. And we're just going to continue with that grid we had before. And we have to create a district. Shouldn't be so hard. Just, just generic industry district. Pine Park. There's no pines here, so um, let's see. Let's call it generic goods. Uh, ink for incorporated. Sounds good. Right, we'll go to policies and we'll give them uh, smoke detectors, make sure they recycle. Uh, we'll, I guess we'll ban smoking. No, it's not for that. <laughs> it's, um, um, let's see, industrial space planning. Let's do that, let's do that part. I think this could use the industrial space planning as well. Uh, it increases the upkeep, but makes them, uh, produce more goods which we kind of need right that's one of the problems we have in the city is not having enough goods let's see if the healthcare and fire department and police is good enough it kind of is we can possibly use another uh, another dude can I put a dude here that help no I don't think we need it I don't think we need it Okay, so we put in industry on the inside, but not the outside of that. It should be fine. Hopefully stuff comes in. Uh, people, buildings start appearing. That's kind of what I'm saying. Uh, so let's do policies here as well for city planning. Uh, make sure these guys produce. I don't know how I forgot this about, um, about this, you know, other places before. There's the think of an airport. I think the big business manufacturer should be good to have. We have uh, high end, not high end, high residential, high, high density commercial. That's what I'm trying to say. I've had density commercial there. I don't think I have a district for. I don't. I don't have a district for this stuff. So let's put a, a central park district here. It's actually Park Central. I keep forgetting. That I, I went with Park Central instead of Central Park. Trying to be more original, but I'm not. I'm just still copying somebody. If that makes any sense. Alright, so should be getting all those corners. All these parks in here. Um, I don't know if I should implement any of the side houses and stuff. Oh, Strawberry Park. Apparently it, it gained a new name. But no, we're gonna go with, with um, Park Central like we have agreed to before and we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, recycling in the park. We're gonna give them boost for parks and recreation and hmm we could give them free transportation for whoever's at the bus station here and is stuck. Yeah, let's do that. Which 
brings me to the next point of interest. We do need some buses and things. Uh, where is the bus? There's the bus. That's the bus. There we go. So we're going to put a bus station in this area. Um, we're going to create a line right from the start of this. Kind of go around. I have to go around this way. Gonna put a bus stop there. And there. Uh, and then make sure we kind of do a bit of a loop through this area. Uh, how about like you? Over to you. Over to you. And. Well, let's go down all the way here. Make sure people get on the bus. What do I have? I have a feeling I actually moved this. Can I move it? Can I? Okay, how about that? Move it there so it's close to that um, metro. And they go down the line this way. Make sure these people get to have a bus as well. Uh, perhaps stop over here. And... Hmm. I should have a bus next to this metro station. And then... Um, Wow, we're we're almost like it's like it's like too f too much uh, too big of a line here almost, but we should keep going. Let's see, do we want to? What do I have to end it? I have to end it there. Okay, so let's go back this way. I can put another sp stop over here and then end it. Sweet. So I didn't get a stop on this side. But... Oh well, maybe I can move this. Would that work? No, it did not work at all. <laughs> Never mind, stay there. Stay there. I, it could be better, it could be better. Because I could have put more... Uh, more lines. Okay, so where is the line I just created? It should be. Is it gone? Those are metro lines. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, bus line number 16. Is this it? I guess that's it. Let's change its color and find out. We're gonna make it. Yeah, okay. So let's make this a uh, green of some kind, uh, but light enough to notice it. And we will call this Park Central uh, Bus. Why not? And now, my friends, we have a bunch of updates and ding-dongs and uh, things happening. Uh, looks like the Oriental office flats could grow, but there's no demand. So we're going to wait a little bit. Let's see how our uh, industry is doing. It's growing slightly. And as we skip around, is this growing as well? Yeah, it is kind of is growing as well a little bit. Put some parks here next to the high school. Why don't I look at something here? Um, do we need more elementary schools? Yes, we do. I can put more elementary schools around this area. And we'll mix some of these. Actually, let's do the regular elementary school. Like so. Um... 
want to do some regular high schools because that will get the unlock the high schools that are modded and you put them in or the any schools that are modded and you put them in don't contribute to the uh, unlocks for the next tier of like the monuments that's, that's what I'm trying to say is anyone lacking is anyone lacking you guys are lacking some schools too bad it doesn't fit. Can you please? Yeah. Probably looks ugly. And I don't really care, but uh, I think. Yeah, I think I'll go over there. It raised the land. Okay, that's good. Apparently, it will have no power in this section. But uh, people should have the right to park next to the school, and uh, why not? Why not give him some covered uh, lay blah. solar panel covered parking lots that creates power? Okay, can I put more schools down anywhere? The American suburbs are crying for school coverage but apparently there is a high school right there so I'm not sure what's going on how about university probably use the university up on the hill yeah why don't we the university up there we have plenty of money, guys, at this point, so we're just gonna like, eh, dude, what could work? And the answer is everything could work. Everything at this point. This place has a university access. Maybe we can put a university uh, in this area without making too much of a mess. Let's change these, these rounds around a bit. Um, I feel like we did okay to create this space uh, maybe the university fits it doesn't fit all right well maybe we can get rid of this sorry those cars that are like you know now forced to do something else with their lives of course, that's not going to work, so we have to put the university over here in um, perhaps add a road behind it to make it seem like I care about the space. And I do, I really do, I do, I really care. Really care, just not enough to fill out all of it. Okay, uh, can we do, can we do that? Let's do that. Why not? So there is a university right next to our sewage treatment plants, which is okay. But that's making all these houses just chirp with joy. So I'm happy with that. Uh, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, we can cover this section as well. No sorry. Could do that. There we go. That is a campus dorm which acts as a small place the university like you would, would have you know all these small buildings around it to make it look cooler um, for example I could definitely do you know more of that over here and have it look like oh, dude this place is so cool you know just have um, let's see have a have a road let's have a road up like that and let's have a road up like this and we can make this a cool campus 
You ready? Well, almost a cool campus because it wouldn't let me. Okay, let me t let me do that. But then I can't put one there. I can put one here. Uh, I can put a couple of here. Oh, this is just extra university buildings that I don't need. But it makes this area look cool. So if you're okay with me making the area look cool, that's cool. If not, um, then it's also cool because, well, I just I just know it is still cool. Can we do it? it won't let us do it. All right, so let's take that away. Maybe do. Maybe do some more this way. How about that? All right, and then there's obviously trees of all sorts that we can put in to make it look like this is a special, awesome garden area. Um, and yeah, people can come actually and eat cherries and stuff. I think there's another cherry tree that I have. Large fern, cherry blossom, there we go. Put some of those all around. Uh, of course, there's also parks that we can put in. I think one of those is good. Maybe one of these. I don't know. Maybe. Did that just kind of fit for a second and then it didn't? No. Just here. What's this? 2x2 two two parking lot? We could probably do a parking lot. Parking lot there. Uh, let's see. Small plaza, of course. That's always welcome around the university. You get the idea, right? You get the idea? I'll work on this some more. I'll work on this some more. But now there's plenty of places for people to go around and uh, enjoy and you know, be feeling awesome because they're next to university um, and there's like all these cool dorms around and you just can't get enough of it. And there's even some offices needed, um, you know, just around the corner to make this place run smoothly. So. There you have it, and people need to also have a place to live. So we are at 107,000 population. Let me check my time here. I actually don't know how much I've been recording for. <laughs> so we have reached 100,000 population. Places have developed, I believe. Um, well that train looked funny as it was going down the... Let's see if we can see that again. Will it make it back anytime soon so we can see it? I doubt it. I think there's only one train once in a while going through that section of the track. How's it going up here? Still waiting on... Still waiting on um, population. And... And that's okay, I think. People should want to move up here. This is a really neat area. A lot of bus terminals. Um, and all the bus stops around that they could chill at. There's gorgeous view if you ride the London Eye. Seriously. Um, and, you know, who would not like this? I mean, look at that. Let's make all those icons go away so we can just look at the fun view from up here. And this is prime real estate. We don't even have any pollution. The air is clean. 
you can see all the way to the airport you can see airplanes flying around those two looks like they're dog they're dog fighting but they're not uh, there's no dog fighting in city skylines i think they're just both go both going to land uh yeah and there's the uh, cool american houses there's a police car down there and a fire oh uh, that, that was the fire truck going down to put the fire out hopefully people in that house made it out and they're okay um i'm sure that everything will be s back to normal once the um fire gets put out yeah there's there in the distance we can see the sign of our city, the jewel on the hill. It says Finkafin. See that? Awesome. It's like we're at Hollywood, but it doesn't say Hollywood. It says Finkafin. Alright, you guys. I'm gonna call it a day for this episode. Please do hit the like button and comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, suggest what you want to see next in the city. We still have areas that we can build in. Uh, we obviously can build some of the monuments. Uh, these are really cool houses. Look at this. Yay. Alright. And um, also since Paradox Interactive announced a expansion pack to the game where uh, all sorts of new goodies will be introduced including a night and day cycle and you'll be able to make um, to specialize commercial areas to, to have uh, a nightlife happenings. Uh, so, for example, you have like the center of your town uh, be, you know, full of night entertainment, which sounds kind of cool. Uh, traffic will happen while it's at night in that section, but the rest of the town will be kind of quiet because people are asleep. So, uh, it's some really neat things coming to City Skylines for that patch we will have to start a new city and I do hope you guys will um, continue to watch my playthroughs hopefully you're enjoying them hopefully quality has stayed the same I am using a different type of recording now since the uh, last uh, well since a few episodes ago where I was getting some performance issues uh, recording with uh, a software and now I'm using my hardware recorder which has a better frame rate but I think it dulls the colors a little bit so hopefully that's not too much of an impact for you guys and I think I left this building here on purpose because it's kind of cool right well I spun around and messed around for far too long we will end this episode here and hopefully you guys come back next time and tune in for what is coming next. I don't know what I don't know what it is, but something is coming next. Uh, do hit the like button, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and share this out with your friends. All of that is appreciated. It really helps the channel grow. And as far as anything else, thank you for your support, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.